Hello, this is Brother Cromart from the Math Department of BYU Idaho, and this is a supplement of the, the lesson dealing with inference for independence of categorical data or the test of independence. And what I'm covering is SPSS commands. And so, what I'll be doing is, is that I'll be showing you how to input uh, data in SPSS at the test of independence, then dealing with weight cases when we deal with uh, summarized data, which is what you'll mostly do with, with the test of independence. Then dealing with the cross tabs where we can get our test of independence results and then doing a few options here. So what I want to do is I want to go back to this data set here. How do we input this data set into SPSS? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new, uh, new uh, data set, okay? And I'm going to go back to this data. And so what I want to do is I want to have each cell represented. And each cell will be represented by a row in SPSS. So say, for instance, we're going to put in Europe, okay, and then um, that's one characteristic of the cell. And then I'll put in wellness, okay, and then I'll put in count, which is 23. So those three items, the row variable, the row variable, or whatever, this, this, uh, this uh, section of the row variable, which is Europe, that goes in here, as well as wellness, and then the count, which is 23. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Europe again for the next cell. I can spell Europe. I can just copy and paste that, but anyway. So here's Europe, and then I'll put in preventative health. So I'll just shorten it and call P health, okay? And then, or maybe I should call it pre-health. Actually, if I do that, what I need to do is I need to increase the string variable. Actually, it's called the string, and I increase the width of it, so I'll just make it 12 or 13. Okay, so that's good. Maybe I'll just increase this one as well to about 12 or 13 countries, okay? So then what I'm going to do is, is that, so I have, I'm going to go back here and call this preventative pre-health, preventative health, and then the count of that is 28, so I'm going to put in 28, and then I'm going to put in Europe. In fact, I'm just going to copy this and paste Europe here for these next cells here, because these are all Europe. Then I'll type in at risk, okay? Then I'll type in sick roll, and then I'll type in self-care, okay? So that I'm going across, basically what I'm doing is I'm going across this row here. And I'm going to type in these numbers, 59, 77, 95. 59, 77, and 95. So I'm just going to check to make sure and they do match. So I do have this first row lined up. So each cell is represented by a country. It's the motivation for uh, going to chiropractic care and then the number of people associated with it. So you have to, so I have the first five cells down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include now Australia. So I'm gonna type in Australia, Australia. And since I have five cells there, I'm gonna have five cells for Australia. Now I can just take this and I can copy this and paste this here just to make my life easier. Because now I'm gonna go across here to the same types of motivations, but now I'm gonna do it for Australia. So I'm gonna type in 71, 59, 83, 68, and 188, okay? So like I said, each cell is represented by three things, state, by the country, by the motivation, and the count. So lastly, I'm going to do is U.S. So U.S. has five different cells, and then these are the, these are the five different motivations for, for U.S. as well, as well as the other two countries. And I'm going to type in these numbers here, 90, 76, go back over here and say uh, 65 and 82, and 82, and then finally I will have 252, okay? So there's my table that I need to get information for SPSS to calculate a test of independence. What I'll also do is, since these are generic uh, SPSS variables, I'm going to change these now to where the first one is country, the next one is motivation, and the last one is count, or you can call it frequency if you want to. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do now the weight cases. So I'm going to weight cases by count. So I'm going to do, you've done this before, data weight cases, and I'll weight cases by the count variable. Click on OK. And so it just tells you down here that you weight by count. Okay, so then what I'll do is, is that the next thing is I will be doing Analyze the script statistics cross tabs, and then I'll do all these different options. I'm going to uh, first of all I'll go to uh, analyze the script statistics cross tabs. 
I'd like to put in the country in the row variable. I'm going to do that here. Okay. And then I'm going to put in motivation under the column variable. You can do it either way. I mean, I have it set up. If you look at the, if you if you look at the table here, this these are the columns, these are the rows. You can switch them if you want to. The row the results are going to be the same. It's just going to be the output's going to be structured a little bit differently. So you can interchange those. So then what I'm going to do is that now I have those in there. I'm going to go to cell, and I'm going to click on. I'm going to have observe marked, and I'm also going to get expected as well. Okay. So I have that, so, um, so I have observed count, expected counts, so I'm going to click statistics, then choose chi-square. Statistics, and click on chi-square, okay, which I just did. And then finally, um, if I can get to here, click display, click display clustered bar chart. So that's right down here. So basically, it's click on this, click on statistics and chi-square, and then click on cells, and observed is already marked, so you just need to mark expected. We click on continue and then click on OK. And then here's our results here. This is where we can get our expected counts here. I, I showed you in the in the uh, primary video um, what expected counts mean. It's basically what you would expect in each cell, assuming the null is true. And so SPSS calculates that for you. Okay. You also get here. Here's your test statistic, degrees of freedom, and your p-value. Okay. And then finally, it's all under peer, on the row Pearson chi-square. And then finally, here's our clustered bar chart. And this is the descriptive statistic, which is the graphs that you need for a test of independence. And that concludes my video dealing with uh, SPSS commands for the test of